Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another Blue Inks comparison video here today, and this is Blue Inks comparison number four. So I think let's go and swab up some of these inks. So the first ink today is a Waterman inspired blue. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is a really lovely blue and I do find that this can be a blue that is a good substitute for Pilot Washizuku Compeki if you don't want to pay the price of Compeki. It's not identical but it's not that far off. So we'll do a writing sample so this is Waterman inspired blue but that is an ink that I do ink up a lot the next ink is Vora and Klinger and it's Blue Mare so we'll do an ink swatch and you can see that this is a much lighter blue I'll put it on a little bit more deeper there so you can see how it comes out a little bit more darker so this is Aurora and Klingner and it's Blue Mare and I think it's without an E, yes but that actually is a blue ink that I now have two bottles of and I honestly think that this is a blue ink I might have to start using a lot lot more because that's a blue ink I am liking a lot there the next ink is Waterman and this is Florida blue now we'll do an ink swatch now Florida blue you'll see is actually quite dry here uh, I find it's quite a watery ink I'll put a little bit more on here and this is also now named I believe Serenity Blue so Waterman changed the name a number of years ago but it's the same ink so we'll do a writing sample so this is Waterman and we'll call it Florida Blue we'll call it Serenity as well the next ink is a Robert Oster ink and this is Robert Oster Fire and Ice so we'll do an ink swatch so get a little bit more on here because that's not that saturated there you go now I do find this is a little bit more of a drier ink as well so I'll do a little bit more saturation there so we'll do a writing sample so this is Robert Oster and it's fire and ice now when the, this ink came out, I went berserk on it and I bought, at the time I bought two bottles, which was unheard of for me. And the main reason why, and I'm going to show you here, is if you can have a look on that bottle rim, you might see, it's very difficult to pick up, but there is some sheen going on there. Some red sheen. And this is what all of the ink samples were showing online. So I bought two bottles of it because of that. And I hardly get any sheen out of that ink, so it's going to be interesting to see if I get any sheen here on Temoe River. The next ink is another Robert Oster ink, and this is Bondi Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now I find that this is a little bit more of a sort of heavier saturated ink. And 
I would say honestly, if any of these inks out of these two inks are going to sheen, it's going to be this one because there's a lot of red sheen on the rim there. So we'll do a writing sample. So this is Robert Oster. And this is Bondi Blue. But that is quite a nice blue ink. And it's been an ink that I've been using a bit lately, but I guess not a huge amount. I still have about, probably about three quarters of a bottle there. The next ink is Visconti Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now I do find that this can be quite a saturated blue ink. So this is Visconti Blue. The next ink is a diamine ink and this is diamine aqua blue. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now I find this quite a dry ink and a wet ink. So when I say wet, I mean a watery ink, not as in super fire hose wet. Just do a little bit more saturation there. And we'll do a writing sample. So this is diamine and it's aqua blue. The next ink is Lamy Turquoise and I know this is a turquoise ink so should it be in a separate sort of colour on its own well honestly most of the turquoise inks are included in these blue ink comparisons so I'm including it here so this is Lamy Turquoise now the last ink I left to last because I didn't want it to pollute any of my other ink swatches here and this is Organic Studios Nitrogen and if you have nitrogen in your ink collection or if you have heard of the horrors of nitrogen and just for moving the cap I have got a whole load of little ink dots all over my desk now. I should have put something down. Oh dear. So this is, we'll do an ink swatch here. Organic Studios Nitrogen. And I'm probably now going to have to do a very deep clean because this ink, the slightest little drop speck, even dried up part of the ink, if it gets anywhere, it creates a huge ink smear. So this is Organics, Organics Studio, and it's nitrogen. And I'm probably gonna have to do a deep clean on this pen as well. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So we have Waterman Inspired Blue, and this is one of the blues I actually use quite a lot. You can see here it has a huge amount of shading going on even in the writing sample. So for me this is a really good light blue ink. We then have Raw and Klinger Blue Mare and again this has a lot of shading going on there. It is a little bit more lighter than Waterman Inspired Blue though. But again, it's an ink that I like. And then we have Waterman Florida or Serenity Blue. And you don't normally see this, but there is some sheening going on there. A little bit of red sheen. Not a lot though, but a little bit around the saturated areas. And then we have Robert Oster Fire and Ice. Now this was an ink that I purchased because I thought it would have a huge amount of sheen. And I know some people have posted photos of a lot of sheen going on. But I just don't see it. Like there's a slight bit of sheen, maybe around here, 
but it's so so small now the next one is Robert Oster Bondi Blue and although that there was sheen around the bottle here I'm not seeing really any well, maybe there's a little bit of sheen so maybe around sort of about here you're seeing a slight amount of sheen but not a lot but it does have a lot of shading going on and so does Robert Oster Fire and Ice and so does Visconti Blue and you can see here the shading that is going on there now again there's a slight amount of sheen going on there but not a huge amount and then we go to some of the more lighter blues here we've got Diamine Aqua Blue which does have quite a bit of shading as well depending on a dry ink pen or a wet ink pen you can see the difference and likewise Lamy Turquoise as well so I'd almost get to say that possibly Diamine Aqua Blue is very similar to Roy and Klinger Blue Mare and Lamy Turquoise is very similar to Waterman Inspired Blue so uh, Lamy Turquoise does have quite a bit of shading and then we have the Sheen Master and this is why I left this to last Organic Studio Nitrogen now this is a huge sheening ink and you do have to be very very careful on where little specks of that dried up ink can get to on your desk because it will smear that colour or it will smear more blue than, than sort of red uh, now I'm going to try and do the touch and smear test now I'm not getting a lot of this coming out onto my finger here but you can normally if you do that yeah, maybe I'm getting a little bit of blue coming up there so like uh, that ink can get to everywhere and I have actually written letters and I've had letters received from people that have written in organic studio nitrogen they folded the piece of paper in half or in quarter and I've literally had to try and unglue the sheet of paper because when it folds the ink folds onto itself it is almost like a glue so this is my blue inks comparison number four video if there are any inks that you don't have here that you like the look of do let me know in the comments below and likewise if there are any inks that i haven't shown in all of these four comparison blue inks videos then do let me know so that i can go and check them out so that's my blue inks comparison number four video thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video bye bye